Hi it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I've got an easy way to use your alcohol markers with heat embossing. So this is part of a release hop from Alter New and it's a new set of markers, it's the set D and I'm going to give you some details shortly about how you can win. First I'm going to start by stamping out my image. Now I've got the beautiful Blossoms stamp set. It's a large, it's kind of like a background stamp and a very intricate stamp too. So I thought it'd be just easier to stamp this using my Misty tool. I'm just using the packaging here to work out where I want the stamp to be on the cardstock. It's just easier to see with the lines on the dark plastic than it is on the actual stamp because it's a clear stamp. And I'm just lining up the image how I want it to be and picking it up with a little of the stamp tool. Now when you're colouring with alcohol markers it, they don't play very nicely with embossing, heat embossing. It can actually ruin the tip. The tip? <laughs> I was trying to say tip or nib. Anyway, <laughs> the tip. <laughs> I think that's a new word. It can actually ruin the nib of your marker. Don't stress though, if you have ruined it, you can actually buy replacement nibs from Alter New for their markers. So I'll actually link those with all my supplies below. So when I was thinking about making this card, I wanted it to be a heat embossed image with the marker colouring behind. But you can see just how intricate this design is. So the way I got around this was to stamp the image using the permanent black ink, but I did stamp it off once because I didn't want it to be really dark. Not that it probably would have made much difference anyway because I am going to be stamping directly over top and embossing it in white. And that's another reason why I use my Misty tool. So I know that everything's going to be in place when I come back to restamp at the end. So I did colour out some of the images um, but I only thought I'd share one of the flowers with you today because I got a little bit detailed there. I forgot that I was going to be <laughs> embossing over top so I was adding lots of shading and things and you don't need to. This is only going to be more of a subtle colour in the background behind the embossing but I did think it was worth adding some shading because you can see it on some of the larger petals. And the colours that I've used today are Sand Dunes, Rocky Shore and Mocha which is part of the Coffee Break sort of ink set, they coordinate with that and I thought I'd sort of make this more of a monochromatic design but I did use the other new colours on another card that I've got shared at my blog so head over there to check it out and those two sets are the really pretty as well they're the seashores which is all that sort of teal blue green colour and also the pinky purple set which is called rose petal and I've got a card that I shared at my blog and that's also how you can have a chance to win. So if you head through the link below in the description over to my blog and I'll have all the instructions there on how to win. Also the links to the other blog posts that are associated with this hop and how you can win from those blog posts too. So this panel is actually cut larger than what I need but that's because I wanted to angle the stamp. I don't know if you can notice that in the misty as I'm stamping here. It is on a slight angle. And that way I figured I could cut it down to the size that I wanted. So I'm just prepping my cardstock with the powder bag before I actually add some ink. I'm using the Alter New embossing ink and just gonna stamp again using the Misty. I know this is going to be in exactly the same spot because I've got the corner of my cardstock pushed up into the corner of the Misty like I did before. It's a very intricate stamp. I probably pressed a little bit too hard but I didn't want to have to come in and if I missed a bit but you know how it goes. <laughs> it still worked out beautiful. I think this would make a really good set of cards like a set of gift cards for someone and you could use all different colors and it came together 
really quite quickly especially once I worked out I didn't have to do all that shading on the flowers <laughs> and here's the magic of heat embossing and I've used the white embossing powder which is a fine uh, detail one so it I think it just really brings this image to life if you didn't want to emboss you could simply just restamp the black image over top or use a colored ink but I know that the embossing no the permanent black is alcohol marker friendly so the sentiment today it comes from a builder flower set it's the ranunculus one and I wanted to create sort of a ombre style sentiment so I'm using the delectable delights and I started with the two lightest colors and I just stamped it straight over top I didn't like them and eh. <laughs> now it's just too light so then I came in with the darkest ink which was the milk chocolate and actually just tapped the ink pad it's a large pad but I just tapped on the very bottom of the stamp and then I've come in with the almond butter and just tapped the top of the stamp and then restamped this is a great technique to be able to do with the misty and you're not actually having to mix your inks so you don't have any chance of contaminating one of your ink pads by doing it this way now I just cut my panel down to fit the front of my top fold card and I use some tape runner to add that and some phone dots to add my sentiment did consider using some sequins or embellishments but I changed my mind and kept it really simple don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel and I'll be back again real soon with some more videos and also I'd love it if you would click the like button and like this video if you did till next time happy paper crafting bye